Hello, my name's John Dobson from Matrix, and I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to show you our new Mayak expansion modules. On this 35 millimeter rail, you can see that I've got a system with three Mayak units and three expansion modules. The Mayak units, hopefully you know. The expansion modules here, I've got a basic expansion module, which has a number of five volt or TTL level input outputs available on these screw terminals. I've got an advanced expansion module, which also has a number of five volt TTL input output functions. It also has two sensor inputs on the front of the unit. And on this last expansion module, there is a GPS receiver inside, and it also takes an SD card. Now the system is connected up by the wires you can see on the back of the unit here. And the wires are black and red for power and ground, and then I've got gray and white for can high and can low, and there are termination points at both ends. The MyX and the expansion modules are just connected by these wires, and then the idea is that they behave very like the e-block system we have. So what we have here is a variety of functional electronic blocks which can be easily connected together and then used with our flow code software. On this unit, I've got a few demonstrations. Firstly, and you can see them on the menu here, where I've got four modes of demonstration. Let's show you how, for example, the GPS unit works. So the GPS communication is through the CAN bus between this MIAC on the left-hand side and this GPS module on the right-hand side. And you can see here that we are receiving GPS information so we know what the time is. And we've actually got 14 satellites that are available for us at the moment. And we can see that my longitude here is minus 1.87 degrees and the latitude is 53. And we're in Halifax in England, so that makes sense. There's a small program in this left-hand MIAC that just interrogates the expansion module to give it that information. If I press the menu button, there is a, a function built into the new flow code software that allows you to very easily daisy chain MIACs together, where you can use up to five MIACs as slave modules under the command of the master module without understanding the CAN bus system. You just call them up with hardware macros in flow code. And we'll show you that software working later. But in, in this mode, if I select slave, you can just see that if I press F2 here, the relay on the second MIAC is on and off, and pressing F1, we've got the same function there for the relay here. So this new system with flow code allows you to have very expandable input-output connections using MIAC technology. And in this case, with the three MIACs, I've got 24 analog and digital inputs, 12 relays, and 12 motor outputs. Going back to the menu again, the last thing I want to show you is how the advanced module works. So if I select the advanced module and take this heart rate sensor and plug it in, what we've got here is a heart rate receiver. If I hold on to the transmitter here, what you'll find pretty soon is that the LED on the expansion module should flash with every beat of my heart. And in a, in a few seconds, you'll find that the heart rate will be displayed on the master MIAC unit. So that concludes this quick demonstration. Um, hopefully you've got an idea now of how easy it is to physically construct a electrical control and data gathering system based on MIAC and MIAC expansion modules. And in the next video, we'll show you a bit more detail about the other items in the range. Thanks for watching.